Hey there, MCC. I hope you guys are doing well. I thought I'd just stop by again to share a few little reflections from uh, Sunday's message with Pastor Julie. This week in our Love One Another series, Pastor Julie shared about the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, this was a message specifically for us as a church, as a people of God and a body of Christ. It was a call to a deeper understanding of the Spirit, the helper that we've received when we accepted Jesus. But it was also a directive as to what we're called to do with that incredible gift, specifically in relation to loving one another. Now, Pastor Julie managed to mine some amazing Holy Spirit gems out of a passage in Ephesians 3. And I'd encourage you to go back and have another listen if you get a chance, because Pastor Julie has an incredible gift in understanding and communicating spirit living. But what I wanted to touch on this morning was just three really important points that she left us with, three really important points that we need to get as a people of God. Now, the three things that I wanted to touch on are the three key principles that Julie left us with on Sunday. She urged us to prefer one another, to honor one another, and to forgive one another. These are three incredibly important principles. I think you'll agree when you think about it, these principles all seem to oppose today's culture. On the surface, I'm sure you can think of times that you've witnessed these principles at work in the world. But I think if you scratch the surface and dig a little deeper, you'll see that these principles almost always work independently. And on top of that, they're almost always working for personal gain. What Pastor Julie alluded to many times on Sunday morning is that it's by the power of the Holy Spirit that we can live all three of these principles at once, not for personal gain, but for the purpose of loving one another better. To prefer one another. What does it mean to prefer one another? It means to lift each other up. It, it's a recognition of talents, gifts and abilities in one another. It's about providing them the opportunity to exercise those talents, those abilities and to succeed. And it's taking absolute joy in watching one another succeed. That's the key, is to take joy in watching a brother or sister succeed in their gifting, in their calling. We don't want to get caught in an endless spiral of comparison. That was good, but it's not the way that I would have done it. Take joy in watching one another succeed and continue to build them up. to honor one another. These are my thoughts on honor. There's such a diversity in the body of Christ. There's backgrounds, cultures, natures, worldviews, upbringings. Seeing and appreciating that they all contribute uniquely to the body is a big deal. Now, we can't individually bring what each individual can bring to the body. And we need to recognize that. I think what we can do is that we can intentionally love one another, honor one another, and that encourages us to bring what we each have. Now, I think it's safe to say that when Jesus commanded us 
to love one another, that he knew that we were going to be different. We weren't all going to think the same and, and talk the same and walk the same. We weren't all going to have the same worldview. But I'm starting to think that that's precisely why he gave us the command in the first place. And finally, to forgive one another. And this is the kicker. This is the one that's missing in the world today. And it's what empowers and drives the whole ship. And Julie mentioned the supernatural power of forgiveness. And I think she was spot on. We can only forgive because we've been forgiven. Forgiveness grants people freedom. It releases people from feelings of guilt, from feelings of shame or anger and resentment. And I think that when we forgive, we are, in the truest sense, living the example of Jesus. So try it this week. All three principles together. Prefer one another. Honor one another. And forgive one another. And just watch how it transforms you. Watch how it transforms the lives of the people around you. See, we all share the DNA of our Creator. And He's gifted us all with His Holy Spirit so that we can love one another. Just as Jesus showed us. <laughs>